What's up, Dolph fans? My name is Jeremy Parsons. I'm the host of People Now on People.com. Now, normally I'm interviewing celebrities about movies, about entertainment, style, and fashion. Today, I'm pumped to be talking about the Dolphins. And on today's 100th episode of Dolphins Daily, we're going to recap last night's win against the Atlanta Falcons up in Orlando. Highlights and player sound coming to you guys all right here. Hey, keep going, keep going. Fans, your Miami Dolphins came out on top in preseason game three, defeating the Falcons 17 to six at Camping World Stadium. This was a great team win as we watched a solid performance on both offense and defense. All right guys, we're starting with the offense. The Dolphins were able to have success moving the chains early on. Running back Arian Foster was a big part of that with his ability to make plays in the passing and the running game. Now Foster also gave the Dolphins a lead with a two yard touchdown, his first in a Dolphins uniform. Another big night for quarterback Ryan Tannehill. He finished the game completing 20 of 29 for 155 yards. Now fans, this offense is gonna be exciting to watch during the season. We can't wait and we can't forget about the defense either. They had the Falcons under control the entire game, including a huge stop on fourth and one. Then with Atlanta driving down the field, the Dolphins came away with an interception from none other than safety Rashad Jones. We cannot wait to see more of this from him throughout the season. Now fans, this was an overall great night for the team. We've got one more preseason game and then it is time for the regular season. Let's hear from some of the guys who spoke after the game. Well, first off, we made it a, a point to stop the run, set the edge, stop the run, and make the team one-dimensional. We was able to do that, so it made everybody life a whole lot easier. Trying to do what we're being coached to do. And it's not just me. It's not just me making plays. It's team working together, because if they weren't out there, everybody would be on me, and I would make plays, period. So it's, it's a team effort whenever it comes down to that. Guys, like I said, at People, we talk all about celebrity style and fashion. Let's be honest, when it comes to making a statement on the field and off, no one does it better than the Dolphins, whether it's the style the team has or the fact that they have an international cheerleading team with ladies from all over the world. That doesn't hurt either. The Dolphins definitely have it all dialed in. Thank you so much for letting me hang out with you today. Be sure to check out People Now on People.com every single weekday morning, and we'll see you back here on Monday for more Dolphins news and updates.